Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Hyde. I'm a Senior Research Fellow in the School of Sport of Leeds Beckett University. Today we are launching the UK Rugby Health Project, which is the first independent project of its kind. We're looking at the effects of playing rugby, um, the long-term effects of playing rugby in retired rugby players of all levels, from amateur level to, to world-class level. So we are looking to recruit amateur and professional ex-rugby players. Um, any, any age post-retirement to take part in our study. There are two ma main parts of the project. We have the online part, which is a general health questionnaire so we can get a good idea of, of how players are getting on later in life. And we also have, um, with the online section, a, a neurocognitive test, which will give us an indication as to how, how players are, are, do, are doing um, mentally later on with their cognition. What, what's really important to understand is that we are all great fans of rugby, so we are very keen to find out exactly what the benefits are, the long-term benefits of playing rugby, rugby are, as well as those potential risks. So we will be looking, we're looking at cardiometabolic health, we're looking at general body composition, muscle strength, and, and that's where we have a, a PhD student who, who is leading that side of the research as part of his PhD. There are several components to, the, to this project. It is quite an interdisciplinary project and we have lots of small teams working together to answer some very important questions. And one part of the study is following on from the New Zealand Rugby Health Study which was funded by World Rugby and the New Zealand Rugby Union Governing Body. Um, that's, that study has now completed and we're looking just to build on that evidence base so decisions can be made with confidence. So we are expanding the New Zealand database to the database over in the UK. Okay, my name is Ian Entwistle and I'm a PhD student at Leeds Beckett University. Uh, what we're looking at in this, uh, in this study is the long-term health of retired rugby players. So we're looking to build a health picture of these players post-retirement. So there's two main parts of the study. The first part, part A and B, will consist of an online questionnaire and neurocognitive test. So following that, we'll be inviting the participants to take part in, in clinical tests, which will involve uh, bone density scans, something called TMG, balance and posture assessment and strength tests as well. So we hope to build, like I said, build up a picture of, of how these players are, are getting on health-wise following retirement. Uh, rugby is a popular sport, especially especially here in, in Leeds, and uh, we all know people, I'm from a family that have played rugby, and so it's important that we build this information and fill this gap in the knowledge of uh, you know being able to look at how players are coping post retirement for better or worse and uh, and allow people to to make that to make that decision whenever they do anything and, and, and know that know the effects of what what they may be doing there's been a lot publicized in the press about concussion and, and the possible effects of concussion so we hope to we hope to get some information on that so we will be taking a concussion history from the players and we hope to be able to see how that has affected things such as uh, posture and balance, the cognitive performance, and, and so we will be doing tests to, to, to assess that and perhaps uh, see if there is any link between the neuromuscular and musculoskeletal health and the history of injury, in particular concussion.